The hearing on Wednesday was essentially about SEBI's ask for more time to complete its investigation in the Adani Hindenburg PIL matter. Remember, in March, the Apex Court had directed the independent committee and the market regulator to submit their respective reports within two months. While the expert committee submitted its report last week, the market regulator came back to the Apex Court asking for at least six more months to complete its investigation. The regulator said that the transactions it has been asked to look into are complex and the verification and examination of the information it's getting from various sources is a challenging process that will require more time. The petitioners obviously opposed SEBI's ask. They said that the regulator has been investigating the Adani group since 2016, and it started another investigation against the group in 2020. It also, the petitioners also asked that both these reports should be placed on record. SEBI has, of course, called these allegations factually baseless. The regulator, uh, rather, the Solicitor General Tushar Mehta, arguing for the regulator, told the Apex Court that the two investigations are ab about completely different issues. The 2016 one pertains to the global depository receipts issue and the 2020 one pertains to the minimum public shareholding norms issue. And these earlier investigations, Tushar Mehta said, has very little to do with the allegations made by the Hindenburg research that SEBI has been asked to look into now. After hearing all these arguments, the Apex Court essentially made three key directions. One, it has given time to SEBI till August 14 to update the court on the course of its investigation. The Apex Court said that it may consider SEBI's ask for more time once the regulator shares an update with the court. Two, it has said that the copies of the expert committee report should be given to all the parties and their councils. And third, SEBI has to place on record the two investigation reports against the Adani group, the 2016 investigation and the 2020 investigation. The Supreme Court will now hear the matter next after the summer break on July 11th.